Hey everyone, this is Alex here from the Retro Review. Today we're going to be taking a look at my MacBook 2 comma 1, a system that I haven't covered in a while since uh, my last video uh, talking about the battery and recent upgrades. Um, mm -hmm. Today we will be taking a look at Mavericks running on this system and see how well it will perform uh, once I get the graphics cat installed. You told me you weren't going to do any videos. Well, that's a surprise. Well, you said you weren't going to do a dot to me. Bye. Well, we're installing it right now from one of my newly bought 64 gig sand disks. And, uh, yeah, it's going to take a little while. Um, I actually fitted a solid date drive into this thing. It has four gigs of memory, which is kind of overkill for a system like this, but two gigs would be really pushing it. Um, after this is done installing, I'll download the 10, uh, Snow Leopard 10.62 uh, combo update to, the, to extract the uh, graphics cats and... Uh, and install them using Kext Wizard. Uh, as for as for the system itself, we'll uh, go over performance uh, once it is all set up. I'll see you guys here soon. Well, that was a short video. After this is done installing, of course. I won't be cutting this off because it will be uploading to YouTube. So, um, let's just hope it actually cooperates and uploads. <laughs> well, there, I, do you know what I want to do? Liv, that's enough. Why don't you just watch your videos real, for a little bit, and then I'll join you in something else. Okay. We in a video? Eh, you're kind of in it. No. Sorry, guys. Um, in a that was, um, I'm here at home with my sister until my dad gets home, and, uh, and, uh, she just happens to be in the kitchen here with me, and, uh, yeah, this is gonna take a bit. Uh, specs of the SSD is nothing really too terribly special. It's a 120 gig Crucial BX300 SSD, um, the system has a uh, display resolution of 1280 by 800, which I believe is a 16 by 10 display. I want to say, or 16 by 9, 16 by 10, one of the one or the other. Um, it's really oddball. Um, I've seen quote unquote HD displays, and this like sits in between, in between that and a. Uh, And a 900p display. So it's actually kind of odd that Apple had this weird mindset before the Retina displays. In other news, um, while I'm on the subject of MacBooks, uh, I will be going down to um, to the um, to sell your Mac. Uh, to see if they have any uh, of the aluminum 2008 uh, MacBooks um, so I can pick one of those up and uh, cover one of them because essentially all it is is a rebranded 13 inch MacBook Pro the only difference is is the branding on the back the badge on the case and uh, or the badge on the system, and uh, that's about it. Um, it's just your run-of-the-mill run of Intel uh, graphics-powered 13-inch MacBook Pro, essentially. Um, I, I'm looking forward to covering one of them at some point. Um, but until then, I've got this polycarbonate here. I'll be uh, giving it to one of my sisters once I'm done with it. Um, 
I'm not expecting for them to be able to do ter too terribly much with it. It's already, I want to say, 12 or 13 years old now. And uh, is getting up there in age. Um, definitely runs hot. Haven't gone in and cleaned it yet. But um, I digress. The system has just been kind of a thorn in my side if I don't uh, do something with it. Um, in other news, I am a Roblox developer now, and um, I will be um, covering stuff relating to one of the Roblox games that I am developing. Um, the Roblox places, as, as they call it. Um, so look forward to that. Um, heck, I'll try and run Roblox on here and to see how, to see if it'll even choke, if I can get the uh, graphics drivers even installed. Um, I'm trying to figure out how you would go about installing the drivers from the OS OS 10 hackers. Uh, package. In other words, Mac OS Extractor. Um, I haven't been I haven't been successful in, install in installing that, and actually that kind of broke the system. Um, so I'm installing it again after first getting it installed. Um, it does successfully update to 10.9.5. Uh, this USB installer that I made is using 10.9.4 so it's pretty dang close to being completely finished um, it'll definitely take a little bit to install I'll tell you guys that and uh, to be honest aside from a couple hackintoshes or at least a hackintosh going into this um, there really isn't much else I can tell um, and actually I'll be uh, covering I'll be covering all bases in terms of performance in the Mac Yak discord server um, those guys are pretty awesome in their own right um, and heck they're pretty good friends of mine and um, I um, plan on uh, join teaming up with Ken Doe of, um, of the um, of the computer clan uh, for a few of season three or volume three's um, vintage Apple Vault. Um, so look forward to that. I've got a few systems that he probably haven't hasn't covered just yet, and I'm very excited to be a part of it um, in this because because to be honest. I've been into vintage Apple products for several years now, and having the ability to actually own a few, that's just pretty dang cool, to be honest. In other news, I've been into computers for nearly 20 years, um, like literally 20 years. Uh, I got into computers when I was only like four years old, in the late 90s, and um, here we are today, 20 years later. Things have never changed. And heck, I'm glad I've accomplished one of my dreams to own a few vintage Macs. I mean, this thing is in, in the best of shape. I wish it was a bit better taken care of. And heck, probably it probably was uh, put together in into like a parts machine or something like put together from spare parts and who knows what I had a bit of a problem getting the original uh, 
or at least original to when I got the system 500 gig hard drive out of it. It actually required a bit of dismantling, losing a few, losing a few screws, and uh, broke off a small piece of plastic here or there, but it's still holding up all right. I'm gonna probably try and order replacement screws. Um, I'm only missing like three of them. No big deal. It's still functional. But aside from that, um, once this is done, I may just end up covering this in a follow-up video. I really can't say. Well, I don't want to tell them if you're going to do it. You probably won't be around that, Olivia. Okay? I mean, aside from this, which is taking it sweet all the time, it actually boots up pretty dang quick with the BX300 in it. Um, I was running Lion, uh, would you believe it, before I before I loaded up um, Mavericks on here, and it just booted up in like five seconds or less. And actually, it does the exact same here. It's just that I need to get the graphics texts installed. Ah, now that feels better. But, um, yeah, this has a GMA 950 in it. <laughs> One of the most useless... Intel graphics, uh, Intel integrated graphics processors to date. Ran Vista pretty dang badly. Not so great with Windows 7. Windows 8 and 8.1, it ran all right. And Windows 10, it just kind of was a dog. But running certain forms of Linux that actually flies and is pretty dang usable. I'll be sure to cover um, running Android x86 on one of these and how I go about doing that um, in another video. I mean simply put all I did was uh, download a Android x86, install ISO, or CD image, uh, from the Android x86 website, and used a tool like um, Bolina Etcher uh, to make a bootable thumb drive, and then all I had to do was uh, hold down the... Apple Apple key or the control key or whatever you use to boot to to the boot picker and uh, select the Android x86 install USB and install it like you normally would and actually you'd be surprised at how usable it is I've used it a little bit here and there and just about everything you throw at it it does it with ease there's just some things that it can't do though and um, I'll be sure to like I said to cover that in a future video and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, update video and I will uh, post a follow-up uh, when this is, um, when this is done installing, and, uh, I'll see you guys then.